So in a previous video, we created an E60 uh, Microsoft uh, 365 eDiscovery case, and then we conducted a search. Something else we will want to do is sometimes create a hold. And so the idea of a hold is it will lock that information in 365 so that it doesn't get deleted by accident or on purpose. And uh, so that it's available when we need it for the legal proceeding. So here's how we would do that. I'm in eDiscovery, and so I'm going to go to my cases, and I'm going to select the case that I have. And this is where we went when we created the search. And the hold actually is going to be really, really similar to a search. So here's my existing search. I did a search for the query text named Shire, the description of it. And I can open this up and do something with it later on. Let me go to hold policies, and I'm going to create a new hold policy. So I'm going to click on new policy, and here or here, it doesn't really matter. And we're going to call this one Babylon. And I'm going to click create. And again, I have an empty case, so I or a pretty much empty um, client or tenant, so I'm not going to find a whole lot. But this looks really, really similar to doing a uh, search, right? In fact, it's actually going to work almost identically. There's going to be a little bit of a difference. So I click on my data sources to select the sources I want. And this is my filter. And then I can choose here what I want to select. And so we're going to see groups. And we're going to see teams. And we're going to see users. And we're going to see all kinds of information. Team sites. So all kinds of stuff here. So I'm going to select... And then I am going to save and close to set my data source. Now, this search here is to allow me to search for specific data sources. So I'm going to save my data sources. And this will take it a second. And then I'm going to set conditions just like I would have done if I was doing a search. In fact, basically what we are doing is we are doing a search. The only difference is that when the search is done, we're going to set a hold policy. So again, I can do uh, keywords. I can do date, subject, participants, time. I can do the key QL. So I'm going to pick a keyword, and this keyword is going to be... Oh, we did the Shire before. Let's just do that one again. And then I'm going to apply hold. Now, I can add additional conditions if I want more conditions to apply here. But what will happen, I'm going to click apply hold. It's going to conduct a search. And then everything it finds that matches the conditions I put in place, it's going to apply a hold to. So... That's the idea. That information then will be held. It cannot be permanently deleted out of Microsoft 365 until the hold is released. That way, we know it's available for the uh, e-discovery case that we're working with. Now, in just a minute, it's going to come back here, and it's going to tell me that it couldn't apply a hold because it couldn't find anything that matched, which is why we'll sometimes do searches before we do holds. In fact, there is an option. There we go. Something went wrong. We couldn't find anything that matched uh, Shire. So we're going to say, okay. So we're going to come back to our case, and there's something else that's kind of cool here. So we'll frequently do a search before we do a, a hold. So I'm going to open up my search here again. And nope, don't care at the moment. And right here, I have the option to create a hold. So I can create a hold using the exact same data source and query as the current search. So if you want to create your hold independently, you can. You can also create your search, do your search, and then if you find the information that you were looking for, then you can create a hold directly off of that. Okay, there we go. So we have now talked about creating an e-discovery case in Microsoft 365, searching for data related to the case, and creating a hold for it.